So I wasn't actually intending on making any episodes tonight, however, due to what has gone on with HEMC over the past day, basically, and obviously the news that we do have circulating this stock specifically, I thought it was time to do an update on the stock because it is safe to say we have a lot more new investors into this company, or a lot of people who are looking to invest in this company, and I do want to give a quick rundown on what the company is all about and all that kind of information. Again, we're going to be going over what's going to happen on Monday because a lot of people are talking about the 3rd of May and how this could be a great day for the stock. So we'll talk about that quickly at the start of the episode and then towards the end we are going to be talking about obviously the fundamentals of the company and somewhere in the middle I'm going to be giving my personal opinions on the company in general and on the date of the 3rd of May. So let's just talk about all of that in this video. If you may enjoy make sure to give it a like and subscribe but here come all of the boring disclaimers. So one, I am not a financial advisor. Two, please do your own research. Three, penny stocks are volatile and quite dangerous to invest in. And four, just make sure you know what you're getting into. So now I've mentioned that, we are going to jump into this video. So we're going to start off by initially just looking at the volume that we have seen on Friday, because it is quite an indication, in my opinion, of things to come. So HEMC on Friday, we started off the date on a price of 0 0.0018. Pretty boring. Obviously, it's similar to what we have been seeing continuously now with HCMC's share price for pretty much a few months. So over the past month, we can see the share price whilst it has gone up. It's obviously been doing this barcoding up, down, up, down, up, down all day for many days with a small increase of 0 0.001 here and there, but obviously not much as we do go. But to, obviously on the uh, Friday, so yesterday, we saw very big gains and there are many reasons for that. So the volume figures that we did see on Friday, if it will allow me to show them, were about 1.3 billion according to this. However, I do personally believe it may actually be a bit higher than that but that is what yahoo finance is reporting on but we do have a lot to talk about in this video so we're going to start off by what is going on on may the 3rd and why the share price is rising now for this one we are going to reddit and this article br briefly talks about may the 3rd are you adding to your position i spoke about my personal thoughts on this in uh, the last episode but i'm just going to quickly run down what this is basically the whole idea is that a lot of investors who do invest in hcmc are looking to add a hundred dollars uh, to their position basically on monday and obviously this will force the share Share price up uh, but in quite a short amount of time now here's my thoughts and opinions on this and i know that some people are going to call me negative but you know what i am not trying to be negative i think what could happen on the monday could be a great thing but I think ultimately we need this to happen and be sustainable. For me at least, I think HEMC fundamentally is a strong company. I think, you know what, these big pumps in price, whilst they may get the stock trending, they could definitely work, don't get me wrong, if people do hold the stock out for the long term. But my personal concern, and this is just my personal worry, is that people may be buying this stock on Monday, and a lot of people who bought the stock for cheaper prices, you know, if the, if the stock was to hit, say, 50 cent, maybe even a dollar at the most, let's say, for example, and of course, course that is an exaggeration but if it was to hit one dollar people would be millionaires and people would sell off and i just don't want this stock to become a pump and dump so that is just my concern again if people do hold the line if the stock does continue to grow steadily after this big pump it could be a good thing but i am still apprehensive of what is going on some people are going to criticize me for that but you know what that is up to you either way i think now still may be an interesting time to buy hcmc i'm going to be talking about this in just a moment but that's my thoughts on specifically what is happening on monday so please don't call me negative it's just my view it could be a good thing for the company but i think long term it doesn't matter if we get these fake pumps in price i think the company's fundamentals will outstand any artificial growth that we might see in share price so now we are going to move on to some more interesting news. I think this really does indicate the amount of growth that we could be seeing on Monday. So please don't take what I just said as the fact that, you know, the stock isn't going to grow on Monday. I think it absolutely could rocket on Monday to a very, very, very high price from where we are now. I think that's absolutely possible as we have seen just on Friday. I spoke about this on Discord. On Friday alone, I was up 700 plus pounds on my position in this stock. So again, that was just in like one afternoon with a price increase of about 0.004, I do believe. So it just shows how quickly this one could rocket. I think it does have potential to definitely break past new highs and much further beyond that. But again, going forwards, I think this is further exacerbated by what we are seeing 
in the amount of searches for HGMC. I think this will definitely lead to a lot of hype going forwards. So basically we can see here HGMC on uh, the last 72 hours has seen the most searches according to the lion.com. If we see how many searches it has got, is winning by a large amount. It's definitely double, if not more, the second best stock, which is Humble uh, Humble Pay or H. MBL. So we can see the popularity of this stock overnight has absolutely rocketed and this definitely to me at least indicates that this stock could rocket going forwards into the next week. I think either way with or without this increase in price this week is going to be very very bullish for HMC as I think Monday we'll definitely see a big increase of price. We'll look at earnings quite soon as well and actually on top of that we definitely will be seeing or at least hopefully seeing the judges response to the motion to dismiss from Philip Morris quite soon. So again, if earnings are good, which I personally do believe that they will be very good, again, if we do get that pump in price, that could be good, it could be bad, and if the judge rules in HGMC's favour, that would be very, very, very substantial for the stock. So I think, yes, if this one does get trending on Wall Street bets, which is not impossible, the share price absolutely will explode. Again, whether this is good or not is a different question, but I think it could be an interesting thing. As we have seen many a time with Wall Street bets, things don't necessarily need to make sense to trend or things that necessarily need to make sense to have a very big share price. And I think that is what we could definitely see with HCMC in the future. But again, this is just an indication of what we have seen over the past two or three days as searches for the stock have gone up massively. And by the way, I just want to take one thing into consideration for people who say that this stock cannot rocket. I want to take into consideration the second stock on this list. It is called Humble Pay. Now, don't get me wrong. The situations for this company are completely different. The, fun the fundamentals are different. The the share structure is completely different. All of those things are definitely different. However, what I'm trying to say is that this stock went from being in a very similar position to HGMC, sat at about 0 0.004, and it went to highs of about $6.84. And again, there are many reasons for that. You know, different factors in play. But for people who say it's impossible, hmm, I just think it is definitely possible if we do get the right uh, you know things in play for this stock so I definitely think it's not impossible that the price could absolutely rocket quite soon anyway so that is a that is a new news I'm um, sorry to give you that little rant but I just wanted to explain what has gone on recently with the company I think big things are definitely coming for HCMC this week share price wise but now we're going to move on to the fundamentals for the new investors so for those of you who are looking to invest in HCMC or have invested or just want to know what the company is about we can simply get a bit of an overview by going to their website if we scroll down on the HCMC website we can see that they are a publicly traded company specializing in healthier alternatives to everyday lifestyle choices that is also somewhat in the name but just to summarize things very quickly they have three main sectors of business let's have a quick look at what they are we have the intellectual property holdings to sum things up very quickly and again feel free to pause this and read it but this section is basically around intellectual property including patents and that kind of stuff so again this does kind of relate to the lawsuit around philip morris right now as they're definitely already working in this area of business let's move on to the second area which is a healthy choice markets now these are basically supermarkets they have uh, four i do believe so again, four of these big supermarkets, they are basically in the Florida area. So again, not spread out over the whole United States, but that is still a start and they definitely are in a good position with those supermarkets, I do believe. Then they have eight vape stores and this is definitely the best part of the company, I do believe, for reasons which I will explain in just a moment. But the vape stores, there are eight of them and they are across the Southeast United States. I think this is definitely going to be the more popular part of the business as this company does state down here, as we can see that obviously the e the e cigarette business and vapor market is obviously growing continuously and HCMC could be a very big player in this going forwards for reasons which we are about to get into so that is just a quick rundown of the three aspects of the company let us jump now and have a look at what is going on with this much anticipated lawsuit so let's have a scroll down on this article on Global Newswire. Global Newswire basically states down here that HCMC's lawsuit says that Philip Morris is infringing on HCMC's patent rights. And obviously the product is called the IQOS system. This product has apparently uh, gained around 40 million users. And by the way, this was written a long time ago. So I definitely think it may be closer to 15 million now, in my opinion. And they have invested over $3 billion into Smokeless 
cannabis tobacco products and you know revenue from this product is quite a lot so let's just take a moment now to look at the market cap of HCMC and have a look at the amount of money that is on the stakes now I've seen some you know potential uh, estimates for a settlement as high as 1 billion 2 billion maybe even 10 billion i think the 1 to 5 billion dollar range for a settlement isn't impossible but let's face it guys even if hcmc was to get only 1 billion in comparison to where the company is now it would allow them to do a lot for the business i think this would still be a big deal so let's get on to the more specifics of the lawsuit. For those of you who have been up to date, you can check it on Pacer Monitor, by the way. We can see that Philip Morris have basically filed a motion to dismiss. Now, this was submitted back on the, on the 19th of uh, April. So, quite, so, you know, quite recently, but obviously quite a few days ago as well. And ever since, people have been waiting in anticipation of Judge Mr. Timothy C. Batten to give his opinion on whether the case can go ahead and Philip Morris's uh, motion to dismiss will be denied or whether Philip Morris's motion to dismiss will go ahead and the case will actually be dismissed. Personally, I do not believe this case will be dismissed. I think the case will definitely go ahead, as I think HCMC have a very, very strong chance of winning this lawsuit. And going forwards, one thing which I do want to highlight as well is the firm that is representing HCMC in this lawsuit. The firm is called Cozen O'Connor. You may have heard of them, but if you have not, they are definitely a top law firm out there. Back in July of 2020, they ranked 67th of all American law firms, and I think this is a big deal. So it definitely is one of the best law firms out there, and they are representing HEMC. You have to ask yourself, would this law firm with such a high reputation want to damage their reputation by losing a case if they were to take on HEMC? I think not. I think they think they have a chance of winning this lawsuit. I think subsequently, you know, it does indicate to good things in the future. In regards to a potential win for HEMC, they have a really good team behind them. I think this will stand them well in the courts as well. So that is the latest on the lawsuit. We don't actually have the judge's reply yet. We are still waiting on that. That could come out any day soon. And if it was to come out in the next week, I believe this would be a massive, massive, massive catalyst for HEMC as with the amount of eyes on the stock right now we if we were to have actually have a realistic catalyst for the company it would send the share price up by a massive amount I do believe so one thing which HEMC do talk about in their business plan is to actually expand expand upon their company and what they do now this is what we have seen more recently as more recently back on the 29th of march they relaunched their vitamin and supplement store now for me at least this was a really smart move for the company let's think about this one currently they operate in the supermarket business and also in the vaping business look the food stores they are fantastic but there's about four of them and they are in florida I am not in Florida. I guarantee that most people watching this video are not in Florida. You can't go to a food store hundreds if not thousands of miles away. The vape stores, I think that is a good business and absolutely it will be able to be scaled to multinational countries and obviously different parts of the United States as well. However, not everybody vapes and that is also a big deal as well when it comes to that industry. Now, vitamins is something which anybody and everybody can take with no detriment to health. Actually, it does give a benefit to health as obviously it supplements the nutrients uh, which your body does need. So this is a really smart move as basically everybody can afford and would be willing to buy these products. Now I think HMC shareholders themselves are buying more and more products for the company and going back to what I was saying earlier in the video about revenue, I think this will equate to very good revenue figures for 2021. So if we can get this hype to continue around the stock and if people do continue to buy products from the company, I think this will really help to boost the company as well. Now, speaking about boosting the company share price wise, one thing that we are seeing more recently is this rights offering or at least direct offering rather uh, to this company's shareholders. So basically the whole idea around this one is that shareholders will be able to buy uh, one share per every four shares that they own at a discounted price of 25%. So for example, if you own 1,000 shares, you will be able to buy one fourth of that. So obviously, one quarter of that at a discount of 25% on the on the VWAP uh, on the share price. So again, as the share price does rise, the discount becomes less and less. But does it necessarily matter if we are still making profits from the stock? Absolutely not. Anyway, from what I can tell, the company is trying to raise $100 million, and the whole intention of this is to add to the company's quote-unquote war chest. Now, this war chest, people are saying that they could use this to buy back shares or something along those lines. 
absolutely true and if they were to do that it would have a large impact on the company's value and on the share price i do believe so we're looking at good things for hmc so that is basically a few things which I wanted to highlight around the lawsuit and around the fundamentals of the company. So let's just give a conclusion to the video very quickly. HMC as a stock, I am very bullish. As I have mentioned probably in this video earlier and in multiple different videos, I do own shares. I own over 2 million shares of HMC, as you probably do know from previous videos. But I am very bullish. I think this one definitely could hit very high prices as soon as Monday. But obviously, I am not looking for this one to hit high prices on Monday. If it rockets on Monday, fantastic. But ultimately, I am more long-term on this stock. I think that the fundamentals of the company are great. I think that the company does have a strong chance of winning the lawsuit. And that could bring in a lot of extra revenue for the business as well. Just my personal thoughts. Make sure to leave me yours down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.